today is, according to my laptop here, we're on June the 6th, 2016. It is 3.51 in the afternoon. I'm down in the lower level where most of our library is. You can see the lower level. The lower level is books 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 these are the books that I want to on the table here that thrift stores I got books down here books here books here you got books down there books there books here and there this, this is the lower level. I was going to take my books I got at the thrift store upstairs where the lighting is better in the dining room, but I think the artificial lighting down here affects how this thing films. But I didn't want to carry all these books upstairs and bring them back down. So I did mention the other day the thrift store crawl hall, but I had I have gone to thrift stores before that, and I went to thrift stores today, and I found these used books over the last this week and last week. And these are the ones that I have not mentioned in any past videos. I got this book at a thrift store, the history of the. Monroe Doctrine by Dexter Perkins. Uh, I'm a student of American history and it looked really interesting. Uh, I want to read about the, Mon the Monroe Doctrine and how it affected uh, uh, Roosevelt entering in the Second World War. I found this Thomas Mann uh, paperback novel, The Confessions of Phoenix Call Confidence Man, The Early Years. I have a huge Thomas Mann collection. I didn't have this one. Uh, but and I found Liz Mesrells by Victor Hugo. I read this, oh, I don't know, 30 years ago. And I don't remember much about it. And I found out I had a copy already, so I'll donate this to the book nook. I have to cover for somebody this coming Wednesday at the Book Nook, the, the library used bookstore, and I'll take that and donate it. I found, I have this in paperback, uh, Simon, Salman Rushnuni, The Ground Beneath Her Feet. I have this in paperback, but I found this hardback, perfect condition, nice cover. So I'll take my extra, my, my paperback to the Book Nook, donate it. Uh, I found this from my Abraham Lincoln collection, Lincoln Present Elect, Abraham Lincoln and the Great Suc Succession, Winter 1860 to 1861 by Arnold Holzer. I have a, a Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln collection, Civil War. So I got those. I put these over here. It's going to get crowded. And I found this book for my uh, Germany, Second World War, Hitler, Nazism collection. Hitler's Willing Executioners, Ordinary Germans, and the Holocaust by Daniel jo Jonah Gold Goldhagen. So I got that. I usually don't collect books on the Holocaust, but I'm kind of curious... It, it was only like, you know, 50 cents, and I just want to look at it. I picked up this one here. This is called How the Filthy Rich, How to Get Filthy Rich in Raising Asia. This is a novel by Hoshin Hannon. I can't pronounce it, but I have two other novels by him. Moth Smoke by Moshin Hamid, and then I have his novel, The Reluctant Fundamentalist by this guy, 
who wrote that, and he wrote this book here, which is a novel, How to Get Filthy Rich and Raising and Rising Asia. So I got that, put that in the same stack. And I found this uh, biography on the father of Robert Kennedy and uh, John Kennedy and Teddy Kennedy. This is their father, the patriarch, the remarkable life and turbulent times of Joseph E. Kennedy by David Nanshaw. I have uh, David Nanshaw's uh, biography on uh, called The Big Chief, no, The Chief, The Life of William Randolph First. I have his biography, and this is another biography by him. I like reading biographies that give you history, and it looks like a good, uh, about American history in the time of Joseph P. Kennedy. So I got that. found another history book. Roger Williams and the Creation of the American Soul, Church, State, and the Birth of Liberty by John M. Barry. I have his book, The Great Influenza, that, that epidemic back there in the, uh, back there in the, I don't know when it, when it was, early, early 19th century. But this is his, Roger Williams and the Creation of the American Soul by John M. Barry. And then I picked up, what else here? I picked up this big, huge clunker, The Raw Quartet by Paul Scott. This is uh, four novels and one big, huge paperback. The Jewel in the Crown, The Day of the Scorpion, The Towers of Silence, and Division of the Spoils in one volume, The Raw Quartet by Paul Scout, Scott. And I found The Bone Clocks, a novel by David uh, Mitchell, who wrote this novel, The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoot. And he also wrote Cloud Atlas, this David Mitchell. So I found this one at a thrift store. Now I can put them in the same stack. And I found the complete poems of Marilyn Moore. I already have a biography of Marilyn, uh, of, uh, Marilyn Moore, A Literary Life by Charles Molesworth. So I can put these together now. So those are the, some of the thrift stores that I can remember that I got that I haven't mentioned in previous videos. Uh, today I've been reading, I mentioned this, I got this at a thrift store last week. I think I've mentioned this in the video. This is Living, Thinking, and Looking Essays by Cyril Horsevit. Horsevit. I have a novel of hers I have down here. She wrote this novel, The Sorrows of an American, by S Siri Husevit. So I haven't read this. Uh, I found it in the back room. I have a novel of her set aside at the book nook, and I still I want to start collecting her writings. I'm really enjoying her essays. I really enjoy uh, what I've read in here. She has an excellent essay here on reading. This essay here called On Reading. It's the best thing I've read on reading, what it, what reading is. So I, I really recommend Living, Thinking, and Looking Essays by Suri Herzevelt. So yeah, and uh, I've been reading uh, White Sands Experiences from the Outside World by Jeff Dyer. I really enjoy reading it. I was reading this last night, essays and I'm still trying to finish Open City, a novel, and I'm reading uh, still The Money Cult, 
Capitalism and Christianity and the Making of the American Dream by Chris Lehman. I'm really in like this book and I want to finish the Open City and I'm really enjoying the essays by Jeff Dyer and I'm really enjoying these essays and this living thinking and looking so yeah oh I did get this no I don't see it here I'm missing something oh yeah I found this uh, fantasy at a thrift store by Samuel R. Delaney Never Oni. Uh, I'm gonna start collecting him. I have um, two, already two of his books by uh, Samuel Delaney. This one, De Hulk, Hogan, and then I have this one by him, A Flight from ne Never On. So I'm gonna keep looking for his writings at uh, at the book nook and used book sales and thrift stores. I like to start, you know, I'm not really into fantasy or science fiction, but what happens with me is I get one book and then I'm on this quest to get everything I can by one writer. And I'm still reading in the mornings for my devotions uh, a treatise on earthy mindedness. This morning I read the one on um, the treatise in here. This morning I had to take my wife's car to have the oil changed and so as I was waiting I was reading On Walking with God by Jeremiah Burroughs so I'm still reading that and uh, what else I I mentioned uh, this biography I got on uh, Edward Munich Behind the Scream by Sue Pride Ick Dix. I have this uh, big, uh, I don't know, big, what do you call this? The paperback on his paintings. There's a painting of him. This is, um, so yeah. I really like his painting. That's the scream on the cover here. I like to really get into this biography, but it's it looks really in depth. It has lots of good illustrations inside, and it has all kinds of uh, paintings and photos and drawings. So it looks really interesting. I did get out uh, I I mentioned this biography on Paul Gauguin A Life by David S Sweetman these are the other books I have these are the writings of a savage by Paul Gauguin edited by Daniel Guerin I have that in my Paul Gauguin collection. I have this little thing of his paintings. You know, he's really famous for his paintings taken when he was in Tahiti. I found this other book. I was looking for a book. This is called Olympia, Paris, and the Age of Monet by Otto, Otto Frickrich. I have a couple books by him. I came across that looking for something. Looks pretty interesting. Then I have this other biography of Paul Gauguin. I like the cover of this. It's kind of old and kind of funky. This one's by, it's called The Noble Savage, The Life of Paul Gauguin by Lawrence and Elizabeth Hansen. And of course I have uh, a big thing of his paintings like that. Let me put those paintings in Tahiti. And then, of course, those. He uh, is pretty famous for those paintings. See these? Some of my favorite painters. So that's what's going on in the book world today on this Monday. And uh, that's it. 
Oh, as far as my diary, today I finished on um, page 482 of my uh, 2016 diary, which I just lost. I don't know what I did with it. I was going to show you something out of it, but, oh, here it is. I was going to do this book tag thing. I was going to, I was going to do... Somebody had this book tag called uh, something about reading. How many books do you usually read at once? The question. I usually read 10 books at a time. If you're reading more than one book at a time, how do you decide which to switch reading the other book? I've mentioned that. I read my, my Christian books in the, af in the mornings. And I read books like this in the afternoons. Do you ever switch bookmarks? You're part way through a book. No. Where do you keep the books you're currently reading? I keep my Christian books on my desk and I keep the these books in the living room on a coffee table. How long do you usually typically read at one go? I usually read all day long. Uh, do you read hard covers with a dust jacket on? Yeah, I don't take dust jackets off when I read, if they have them. A lot of used books I buy, like I was reading this last night, White Sands by Jeff Dyers. I didn't take the cover, the, the slip cover off with a dust jacket. What position do you usually read? Well, I, I usually read sitting either here or in my study or in the living, in the dining room. Do you take a book you're currently reading with you everywhere you go? Well, like I said, this morning I went to get the oil changed my wife's car I took this book to read and uh, I've been usually been taking this book in the afternoons when I go somewhere these essays how often do you update your progress in Goodreads I don't who would you like to tag where I tag anyone who watches this video so that's it until next time bye